Welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to update the time as the song goes by, okay? So we are going to add an event listener to the audio again, just like this. Now, what we want to do here is get the current minutes, the current seconds, the total minutes, the total seconds, okay? So we're going to put them into variables. So we're going to create those variables. Then we're going to calculate them, okay? So current minutes is going to be audio dot current time divided by 60. Now that will give us a decimal. So we want to flow this number. We're going to use the math.flow function that way to flow that number. We're going to do the same thing for the total minutes. We're going to make it audio, audio.duration modulus 60. Again, this is going to give us decimal. So we're going to flow it like that to convert it into a whole number. We're going to do the same thing for the current seconds. Now, for seconds, here we're going to do divide. For the seconds, that's when we're going to use modulus. Goes to audio, current time, modulus 60. It's going to give us a fraction. So we are going to flow it like that. And we will do the same calculation for the total total seconds. It's going to be audio dot duration modulus 60. Since it's going to be a decimal, we're still going to flow it like that. So now we've gotten the time. So what we want to do, we want to display the current minutes, the current seconds, then a slash, then total minutes, total seconds. Okay. So we go back. So to make things easier, I'm going to create new variables. This current time, the total time, which is just a concatenation of the current minutes and the current seconds, also for the total time. So that way we can use them to update the this div called time box. We want now to update it. So we take that ID, copy that ID. So we change the inner HTML to current current time plus slash. Then we concatenate total total time. Okay. So we go back to the browser and test it. it's working but there's one problem you see the seconds they're just single they should have a zero in front of them so to make them appear well we're going to create a function that will convert them if they're below 10 we add a zero in front of them okay so we're going to create the function called i'm going to name it smart time and it's going to take the argument of time okay so when you pass time here if it's below 10 seconds it's going to add a zero in front of it okay so the only thing that function does is it checks whether the time that has been passed there is less than zero if it's if it's less than 10 it will return zero concatenated to the time else it will return it the way it was so we are going to use this function here, smart time, and I'm going to go ahead and use it on the others. So I've gone ahead to add it to all of the variables. So when you go back to the browser and refresh, see now they look cool and everything is okay. So we just main with update clicking this bar to seek and the volume bar. 